of both movies and music and Jackson joins us on the line now. Hello Jackson Rathbone. Hey Grant, how you doing? Good, welcome to CBC Radio 3. Hey, thanks for having me. I so, appreciate it. Yeah, so are you in uh, Vancouver right now? I am. Uh, currently I am uh, in downtown Vancouver uh, hanging out uh, just like the, the song you uh, just played. I don't go anywhere without my band. So, uh, oh, well, that's I'm just kind of hanging out uh, about to go to the uh, the record store and make some music here in a bit. <laughs> oh, oh you're, you're, are you doing an in-store? Uh, no, we're actually uh, mixing an album in, in Vancouver. Oh. What we're doing is we're mixing our full-length album kind of uh, uh, around different areas. And uh, I think this is the third, the third area we've mixed in, and I think we're going to complete the album here in Vancouver. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Now, is that uh, out of uh, choice, or is that out of necessity with uh, the acting and, and the uh, Twilight shoots that are here in Vancouver? Well, I gotta say a little bit of both, you know, it's uh, one of those things, uh, you know, necessity is the mother of invention, and uh, we are kind of like, uh, you know, a traveling pack of gypsies, or troubadours, if you will, so uh, we like being on the road, it keeps us fresh. Well, and uh, I mean, you know, we're in, we're in uh, Vancouver, BC, and the BC stands for beautiful country, right? <laughs> oh, sure, we'll take that. And uh, so now I'm aware that the guys, we're going to bring the guys on in a bit, but I'm aware that uh, you guys are all old friends. So I wonder what comes first for you, Jackson. What was your first uh, artistic love? Was it acting or music? Well, I think my first artistic love was uh, girls. <laughs> okay. Whenever I, I, I discovered uh, theater and, and acting, I, I really wanted to do it for the girls, to be honest. And then uh, my, one of my first shows was Grease, the musical, and I had to learn how to play guitar for that. And it just kind of—I kind of fell in love with both at the same time, you know, really with the, you know, acting and get, getting to express myself uh, in, in, in that vein, and then being able to uh, uh, have have music as another avenue that that I can, you know, explore the. The depths of my soul and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but basically, it's like, you know, I love them both. Frank. I'm gonna have my cake and eat it too. Well, how do you balance the two careers? I mean, it seems like uh, 100 Monkeys has been going for about two, two and a half years now. Twilight around the same time. Is it difficult to create a balance? Uh, it's one of those things, you know, you just kind of uh, make certain sacrifices, like sleep, and uh, you're all good. It, I mean, it's just too much fun to be able to, to be uh, blessed enough to be in the position that, that, that I found myself in, and I've just got um, an amazing group of friends who I love playing music with, and I, I happen to have uh, somehow in my acting career stumbled upon a, a fantastic project. So it's one of those things, I just kind of, stars lined up, and I'm taking advantage of it. Well, we here at CBC Radio are, are a little bit gun-shy when it comes to speaking with actors uh, that are also musicians. We call it the, the Billy Bob Thornton syndrome. Uh, it, seems, it, it seems like you don't mind uh, combining the two. Yeah, you know, I, that's one of those things. I, I, I've seen it. I've seen it a lot where, you know, I'm always wary of, uh, you know, the actor-musician thing as well. And, uh, you know, it, it's just it's just one of those things like where most actors I, I found, you know, either shun one side to go to the other and they kind of like, or keep uh, the music side completely hidden from the acting side or uh, whatever the whole Joaquin Phoenix thing was. I don't, I don't know what, I don't yeah. know what's going on with that, the whole rapping thing and all. But, uh, I, I just found that the, the two really kind of worked together for me, at least. And uh, I mean, I've always had a love of, of film. I've always been a cinephile. And one of the things that that moves you the most in, in a in any cinematic piece is the music. I mean, even back in the silent picture days, you know, they had a guy on, on the piano playing in the corner of a theater because music moves the soul, and it works really well with film. So I, I don't I don't see the problem of having them both together. And and so since you embrace the connection, why don't uh, we bring in uh, the rest of the band? They're all there, I'm told. Yeah, I got a hundred monkeys in my living room. Say hi. Hey. Hello, hello, yeah. hello, one hundred monkeys. Welcome to CBC Radio Three. Thank you. How's it going? Uh, good. So, how do you guys like uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's today. It is. Not talking about the landscape. Oh, okay. Well, I, I know that you've already played here, and uh, now you are going to uh, do another show this Saturday, uh, September 12th, at the Rickshaw Theater in Vancouver. Have you guys been down to check out that venue yet? 
Yeah, we have. Uh, we, 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 we've been down there uh, the last time we were in town. Uh, they weren't done setting up the rickshaw. I remember we talked to them, and this time we've been down to see it, and we can't wait. It's a new venue with a bunch of great gear in there, and uh, it's going to be a great show. Okay, was was that Ben? Oh yeah, that's Ben Grappler, one of the best. Yeah, see, I, I, my my chances are pretty good there. So uh, yeah, there's there's Ben, there's Ben, there's Jared, and and then now what about this Uncle Larry uh, guy in in? Uh, well, there's this guy, well, I, I think I gotta introduce you to this guy, and this is that guy talking. How <laughs> uh, you doing, Canada? Uh, Uncle Larry, hello, uh, and and so are you all from Texas? No, no, actually, uh, this is Jackson here. Um, I'm I'm mostly the one from I'm Texas. I'm actually the only one from Texas. Yeah, Ben Grapper's <laughs> actually the only one really from Texas. Uh, I myself, I was born in Singapore and traveled around a lot. All my family's from Louisiana, but uh, I, I just 